Well, let's get the latest now from Sunanda Deshapriya in Geneva. He's a Sri Lankan journalist and human rights activist. Welcome uh, to the program, Sunanda. Can I start by asking uh, about your reaction to this appointment of Rick Ramasinghe? We know that the government was hoping that his reappointment to the post of Prime Minister would help bring stability to the crisis-hit nation. Do you think it will do just that? Uh, the appointment of uh, uh, Mr. Vikramasinghe to a Prime Minister post uh, has not uh, uh, supported by any of the opposition political parties. Uh, that's one of the real problems. He will be the Prime Minister of the ruling party, ruling party which has lost complete legitimacy in this situation. Um, opposition parties came up with other proposals that President Rajapaksa, Gaurabhai Rajapaksa should resign. That's a call coming from the uh, young youth-led protest and which has been uh, widespread and uh, support, got supported from all over the country. So in that sense, very difficult to see that whether uh, uh, Mr. Vikramasinghe can bring any legitimacy to the government. It's still the youth-led protest have the moral high ground because as um, we all know that Sri Lanka is in dry economic situation, no gas, no electricity, no fuel, no, mil no, mil um, no milk for people, young people. It's a very, very difficult situation. Whether uh, Vikramasinghe will be able to get uh, turn the things around and get some support from international community, uh, is we had to see that already American ambassador has congratulated him. But um, a situation not for easy for him because it uh, uh, to get Sri Lanka back in to fit economic, economically will take more uh, more time, years, at least say five years. And uh, political reform will be very difficult because political reform that people are asking will definitely affect Rajapaksa family. Uh, that's the main issue. How he go is going to navigate through the Rajapaksa family and the protesters is to we have to see that how this situation will unfold in the coming days. We know that violent protests uh, re-emerged in the wake of the former Prime Minister Rajapaksa's resignation on Monday. Now, in response to those protests, uh, the government ordered security forces to shoot anyone on site who they believed were inflicting uh, the violence. What do you make of that measure? Is it too extreme? Um, to the credit of the, I would say, military, whatever they have been on the streets, uh, there has been no shooting yet. Army commander yesterday reassured that um, peaceful protesters which are, are camped in occupying this gold place green in Colombo uh, will be allowed to uh, protest there. And he said, and they will be allowed to get their food and everything as far as they uh, remain peaceful. So they, the, the protest has been completely peaceful over 30 days. So in that sense, uh, although you see lots of military vehicles on Colombo, uh, nothing that has happened, but tomorrow a curfew comes to an end, emergency has to be, if, if Mr. Vikram Singh, the prime minister, wants to bring normals to the country, he has to immediately get the emergency out, revoke the emergency. And with emergency and uh, uh, military on the road, you cannot do anything, people will not accept him as at to any any level as a prime minister in that sense i think although it was a threat to the people it has not deterred the protests are going on everywhere in the country still uh, because political reform the main slogan as i said go to arabia rajapaksa should resign that uh, that will go on I think that today the youth protesters came out with the joint declaration saying giving up, giving, uh, setting out their proposals. These proposals completely reject Mr. Vikram Singh uh, because youth protested had moral high ground. Yeah. Government doesn't have legitimacy. It will be very difficult, uphill task for Vikram, okay. Mr. Vikram Singh to get back some legitimacy to the government because he will be the prime minister of the ruling party, not the opposition. Right. Uh, and Sunanda Deshwapriya, we will have to leave it there, but we really appreciate your analysis. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you very much.